Hello lovelies! Now that you're in college, you're probably experiencing a common and depressing shift into grown up dumb. If you're anything like me, your holiday wish list is sort of transformed from things like Barbies and toy cars to gas gift cards and enough money to eat. Even though I totally feel your practical pain on this one, it's time to bring some cheer and relaxation and me time back into the season of receiving. And because you're probably sick of reading your philosophy textbook, this week I'm going to be recommending some relaxing, pleasant, happy, fun novels that you can request for holiday gifts. So first, this is one I recommend everywhere on the internet because it's very dear to my heart. The author is Megan McCafferty, and it's a series, the first of which is called Sloppy Firsts. They follow the main character from the ages of 16 to 26, including her college years, which is really cool because not a lot of novels are written for people specifically our age. Number two, the entire literary catalog of Mr. John Green, someone you probably recognize from being around the YouTubes. John is a friend of mine, but first and foremost, I am a humongous fangirl. My favorite of his books is this one, An Abundance of Catherines, but he also has a new novel, The Fault in Our Stars, coming out in, I think, April, that you can pre-order now. So that's a good way to extend the holiday season into the year. Ask for that, forget about it. In April, have another present. I've actually just finished this one myself. It's Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I had the pleasure of meeting Miss Perkins this summer at LeakyCon, and she is a lovely person, and this book is freaking lovely as well. It's not trying to be a literary masterwork, it's really just a fun novel, but um, it is fun. Also good to read while drinking tea, because it's set in France. I don't know what about tea and France go together in my head, but uh... They do. And finally, one more good addition to your list is to find out the names of your textbooks for next semester, write them down, and give them to grandma or whoever. It's lame and practical, but it can save you a lot of money and be really helpful, and you can always call, you know, Aunt Susan and thank her every time you're studying geology. Nothing says Christmas quite like rocks. I hope this video opens someone's eyes to some awesome works of literature, and if you have other book recommendations, obviously leave them in the comments along with your questions and or topic suggestions for next week. Goodbye!